Hi, this is Andrew Lightheart from CobaltCommunication.com and we're discussing Ken Robinson's uh, Do How Do Schools Kill Creativity uh, presentation. Now, um, this presentation is it was in 2006 at the TED conference and yet it's still one of the most uh, email tweeted um, commented on presentations uh, even now at this point when I'm recording this. So there's some, there must be something about this presentation and it's interesting when you look at uh, Ken's style is that it's very um, kind of low to medium energy, very conversational. So that's one of the things that you can take from it is that uh, you don't have to have high energy in order to create a presentation that really resonates with millions of people this one did. Um, so if you're doing a presentation you don't have to up your energy uh, to an enormous extent in order to be able to um, create something that people really appreciate. Now one useful thing would be as you're listening to the presentation and watching it is to make a very quick note of what's happening or what just happened. Uh, as you're going through. So, a uh, story about nativity, um, uh, the idea of Shakespeare being in an English class, a um, story about the dancer, but no, just oh, statement. And sometimes he'll make a statement. And the thing that you're going to notice is that you can learn from, that we can all learn from Ken Starr, is he is a master illustrator. So his presentation is actually very simple, that uh, literacy should be, um, creativity is as important as literacy. Children are naturally creative and make mistakes and just go out there and do it, but we train that creativity out of them. That um, education has been structured so that it all, it leads, ultimate end is, is, is academia, is to be a professor. Um, and. Uh, that's not going to be the thing that's going to equip children to be able to live in a world that we can't predict. Creativity is what's going to allow them uh, to live in the future. And that's his structure, very simple. Uh, and yet it's, it's 18 very interesting minutes because he'll give an illustration, an illustration, an illustration, make his point. And then I'll have an illustration, 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 sub-point, illustration, illustration, sub-point. Everything has two or three different ways of examples of stories from his own life, like apocryphal stories, jokes, uh, examples. And, and the, the, the way that he uses those illustrations means that you find him interesting. So think about that when you're, when you're doing a presentation. How, what are your points? Keep them very simple. Then how can you illustrate them with data, with examples, with uh, stories? And stories can be uh, examples from your, the current project, from previous projects, from other areas of your life. Um, they can also be um, apocryphal stories, but mainly I would encourage you to use things from your life. But notice that the structure is simple, but it feels so rich because he illustrates so much. The other thing to notice um, about this presentation, if you look at the illustrations, he uses contrast very well. So all the time he's pushing things to a, 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 as wide an extent as he can in order to create contrast in our mind. And contrast is something that really uh, helps us see things clearly and, and is quite persuasive. It's also where a lot of his humour comes from. So it's not just uh, imagine a, a highly gifted English person, uh, English uh, a kid in your English class, imagine Shakespeare being in your English class and what would happen to him. Um, that there's this wonderful dancer and um, what would happen nowadays? That she would be labelled with ADD and drugged. And so it's these big contrasts of 
uh, that create some kind of emotion but also create very vivid images in your mind. So notice that as well. So those would be the things. Is notice his style is very relaxed, very conversational, no big words. Uh, he um, illustrates all his points very richly uh, and then when he makes a statement he makes the statement very cleanly sometimes repeats it and then also notice that, uh, that the way he uses extremes to create contrast and these are some very simple things but quite profound that mean that you can create an interesting presentation as well and I think that applies to a lot of situations so really enjoy Sir Ken's presentation. Uh, it's, it's a very skilled session, um, the way he brings people on board in the first three minutes, talking about things that they've experienced, and then moves through his points uh, in a very simple way. So enjoy.